Sup, mates, and welcome back to Alex Strasdy Game. We are, last time we played uh, Half-Life Training Room, and now we're going to be moving on to medium difficulty actual story. Uh, looking over the last episode, I realized that I was kind of an idiot with the sound because of certain capture methods. It ended up being very quiet for you guys, so I have since increased my sound, and it will all be good. Let's play Half-Life. New Mexico. Ooh. We're going quick. Ninety three degrees. Fire in the forests and plague and desert on the seas. Oh, it's it's American measurements, isn't it? 93 degrees. What is that in Celsius? I don't even know. Uh, probably around 20 or 30? In that case, it's pretty, pretty comfortable. Yeah, no, that would probably be closer to 30. Uh, it's actually pretty loud here. I have no idea what my yeah, audio is going to sound like when this is done. Well, let's find out! I really gotta find myself some proper audio mixing, but it's all going into one track. It's not great, but whatever. It's free. High security branch, you say? Loading. So I hear that this is, um... This area here in the tram is essentially loading the entire game. Which is cool. Like, this is one big, long loading screen, more or less. Like, of course, between ga between areas, it's gonna be... It's gonna give us that little loading dot dot dot, but nothing significant. Which is really cool. I've always been a believer in having loading screens do a little bit more than just load. I'm totally talking over this woman. Ooh, helicopter. I have no regrets. Handicap. Heh, heh, heh. Ah, there's nobody else around. Ooh, fancy. Hey, if this was my transit into work every morning, I'd probably get bored of it on the third day, but, I mean, it'd be pretty cool on those first two days. I don't know, something like this, something about this whole complex intro, just, uh, not complex intro, uh, complex tram system, just screams to me, legitimate company. Oop! We are Gordon Freeman, male, age 37. We have a PhD, MIT, in theoretical physics. I don't actually know what MIT means. Uh, research associate, MIT, MIT, MIT. We are working on Anomalous Materials Laboratory in our tram. Okay, there it is. Level 3 clearance. I don't know how many levels there are in clearance. My sponsor is classified. Ooh, mysterious. Disaster response dis priority? Discretionary. Whatever that means. MIT. What does that mean? Because I feel like I know it. It's just not coming to me. Master in Technitioning. Hmm. Quite the production here. Yeah. What is... That robot on the four legs, just sort of walking around. What is the point of having those complex four legs instead of just caterpillar treads? It seems horrendously inefficient and ineffective. I mean, if that thing steps on like a hole or like a... Like if it accidentally missteps and goes off that, that narrow f area, 
it, it it'll all fall in. Whereas in caterpillar treads, the weight's evenly dispersed. Oh, I see. That's a ramp. I thought it was about to fall. I don't know. I, I just don't understand. I guess maybe it can strafe easier. Like it can directly, it can turn on a 90 degree angle without having to shift. Oop, we're now arriving. This is my stop. Yeah, nope, none of my stuff is here. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Howdy. Looks like you're running late. Well, you know, I mean, traffic and all that. Thank you. So, uh, a lot of traffic out here, a lot of people coming in. No? Yeah, he hates me. Oop, there's somebody on the other side beeping. Schwank. That's a big door. Thank you, sir. Can we do this later? Oh. Okay. Anomalous materials. This is my department. Hello, Black Mesa Research Facility Entrance. Hey, Howdy. Mr. Freeman, hey. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago. Ah. Uh, I can't find my files. It's just one of those days, I guess. I know the I feeling. Some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. The test chamber? You told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. All right, thank you. All right, to the test chamber, then. Hmm. Anomalous Materials Labs Research. Anomalous Materials Labs Development, Personal Facilities. Let's check out Personal Facilities. Hello. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Alright, that's fine. Don't be have Jesus, man, don't have to be so abrasive. What? Wow. Uh, loading. Ah, I found a loading screen. Yeah. Yeah, you can't be serious. Howdy! I like him. Oh, okay. I guess... Well, they're not that bad. It's actually kind of... Well... I mean, it's not... Someone hides your glasses, like, regularly? I'm sorry, man. As a glasses wearer. Oh, dude, you want to find that. Hello, person who says my full name. That's really awkward. Hey. Catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. Hey, thanks, man. Seriously? Sorry, Mr. Freeman. I got access. I was not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Oh, oh, I was. Ugh, this is research or development or something. Sorry, I followed the wrong line. I got totally distracted by that guy talking about his tie. Here it is. No smoking. Okay, no smoking. Everybody remember that. Ooh, it's the cafeteria. Hello. I can't be bothered right now. Oh, he's really intently into that soup. Your coffee? As I expected. <laughs> As I expected, the soda pop machine didn't work. Authorized personnel only. Oop. I keep thinking that I have to... I keep thinking that I have to click E on these things. Oh, I guess we have to find ours. You know, your your twin out there was saying the exact same thing, actually. All right, let's see now. Laidlaw, Steli, Lar. Better safe than sorry, man. Backman, Bond, Wood. 
Kisali, not me, Coomer, Birdwell, Jones, Guthrie. Oh. Okay. Whatever that means. Uh, Riller, Teasley, Bailey, I know a Bailey, Johnson, ah, Freeman, that's me. I Actually, Bailey's the only last name that I know out of all these people. I don't, oh wait, I, I do know a Wood, that's right. Now, I know a Wood and a Bailey, but beyond that, I don't know any, jo well, I guess I know teachers named Jones. I guess that counts. All right. Anyway, Freeman. Oh, a battery. And let's see. I imagine that's my diploma. A bunch of sticky notes. Oh, those are good to have around, but usually only if you've got a pencil too, which he doesn't seem to have. A picture of a sleeping child. That looks like a child. Uh, Mandala. The thirty seventh Mandala. By Mark Laidlaw. And the Orchid Eater. Interesting. I wonder if those are real books. That'd be interesting. Um, well, it looks like a torpedo. No, that's a thermos. A thermos and a cup. So, for his soup. So, he was eating soup. All right. I was right. And a shirt. Oh, good old timey graphics. And just a giant battery. Yeah, actually, we have walk-in lockers. That's pretty awesome, actually. That's like... You can actually get changed in a locker room and have privacy. It's pretty awesome. I, I like that. Toilets are here. Ooh. Bro. Next gen. Alright. Yeah. Sink? Can I turn on the sink? Nope. Wait, how is there a current in this water? Whoa. I guess there's no current, but still. Motion, man. That's cool. Wish my sink water did that. I could just stare at this all day. Alright. Uh, toilets apparently are both being used. Whoa. Sorry, I just walked headlong into your bathroom cell door. Ooh, this looks fancy. It, yeah. Nominal. Absolutely. I agree. Boink. Hello, precious. Yes. Not, not you, sir. Not you. I'm sorry. I, I mean, you're a cool guy and all, Mr. Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put my suit on. We. What is this music? I'm digging it. What is this? Is this supposed to happen? I don't remember this. I'm down. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, Morgan Freeman apparently just has a freaking MP3 player stuck in his suit. Sure. Uh, that was a bunch of information that I was supposed to listen to, but I don't really care about. Bro, check it out, man. I got these rockin' tunes. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Christ, man. Everybody hates the ties. You gotta get a petition together. Oh, it's this. The soup is being microwaved. Actually, I kind of want that soup. No? Oop. There's something. Oh. We're gonna... Oh! God, what are you doing? Oops. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, I can fix this. Uh, I can't fix this. Um. Yeah. Let's go to the red line. Because I know the blue line was progress, so... Let's see where this takes us. Ooh, look. An inconspicuous businessman talking to a scientist. Whoop. 
I'm sure he won't be important. Howdy. Yeah. I, I, wow. That's a laptop and a half. Okay. You, you guys have fun. Sector B. Coolant reserve and facility. Or coolant reserve facility or whatever. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. All right, well... I suppose so. I, I just, you know, I like to try. Just in case, you know, one day you'll let me through. But you never do. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Alright, I'm over it. Right on through, sir. Yay! I'm in the barrel? Okay. That's... I mean, I was in the barrel yesterday too, but I guess I can take another one for the team. Okay. Oop. Oh, I thought this was airlock. Okay. Cool. Onwards and upwards. Whoa. Working as a team. Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah. This is a really, really unsafe elevator. Wow. Oh, and there's a ladder there. Okay. That's that's good, I suppose. But yeah, that's really unsafe. I wonder what's down here. Absolutely nothing. All right. I'm sure that'll never become important. Howdy. Right, it wasn't half an hour, it was 27 minutes. Oh, thank you. Okay, I thought I needed to talk to you to get in, but I guess I can just waltz on in. Oop, lines. Do we know what these lines are for? No, we don't. We haven't checked them yet. I have to look for the lines. Control room, test lab access, plasma cells, ionization chambers. Ionization chambers? That sounds fancy. Let's follow that one. Wait. It disappears. Ah, oh, where are the ionization chambers? Valve! Fine. I forget every other one, so let's just see where these all take us. Howdy. Ah, good. Here you are. Yo. Just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti mass spectrometer to one hundred five percent. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. But the administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some length to get it. Okay. That was ominous. Are you expecting something to happen, or are you just really creepy? Alright, well that made me feel better about myself. Ooh, that looks fancy. God dang, what does level 3 clearance even get me anyway? Uh oh, fix that, fix that, fix that now, that's a problem. They took out an entire screen. Uh. Alright, let's head down. Whoa, that's disorienting. Don't make ladders like this, people. Ah, I thought that said meth lab. Nope, test lab. Go away! Is this one working all right? I guess it is. Please, leave me alone. You know what? Please leave me alone until you have to experiment. Okay. Screw you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. 
You know what? I hope so too. I usually pride myself on being able to figure out technical jargon like that, but I don't actually w know what the word nominal means. I always kind of thought it meant negligible, but that doesn't really make sense. Howdy. Uh, I don't like going from procedure. Okay. Wait, I thought we were deviating. I know exactly what I'm doing. Now what do I do? Well, looks like I'm going into the chamber. Next time on Alex Tries to Game. See you guys on the next timey time. Bye.